All right, guys. So I really like this commit. All right, on the transfer portal, and that's Quincy Wiggins, okay? Defensive end out of Baton Rouge, Louisiana, so local kid to LSU, committed to LSU, was a very highly touted recruit and somebody who, when I watched him on tape, Quincy Wiggins was somebody that popped off his high school tape. All right, 6'6", 270, long arms, and a guy with a lot of wiggle for somebody his size and, and a really good 4-3 defensive end. So at LSU, in two years, he only accumulated five tackles in a combined two years. He had three tackles this year and then two tackles last year and no sacks. So he really didn't see the field at LSU for a terrible defense, which you know, can be a little like eyebrow popping, like what's going on? Why can't Wiggins see the field? You're supposed to be, he was a high four-star recruit, a 97 recruit, Quincy Wiggins. And I mean, I think that Quincy Wiggins in high school was just phenomenal. Looked like an NFL player, looked like a high, you know, NFL draft pick. So for Colorado to get Wiggins, um, it's great. I mean, it would have been tough to beat, you know, uh, LSU for a recruit, like a four- or five-star recruit right in the city of LSU. Um, LSU insiders are going to know better about why he did not play, all right? And and that's, that's obviously the question. But Charles Kelly um, and Colorado, they have connections, you know, all, all over college football, so they're going to know that question. But it's also a really good opportunity to take a chance on a Quincy Wiggins who has massive talent, who has massive upside. Because at 6'6", 270, he was really hard to block in high school. And again, he had great lateral speed. And he would win all the time against like five-star players. Um, You know, especially when he went to Under Armour camp, like he would dominate the drills. And I'm thinking, Quincy Wiggins is going to be a baller. Quincy Wiggins is going to be a stud. So, again, I I love the signing. They have 12 signings on the year, but we're going to see how this defensive line, you know, develops in the Big 12 conference. And again, I'm all for I'm all for the signing of Quincy Wiggins. I think that he can be, you know, somebody that again, he's only a freshman. So we get he redshirted. He has tons of years of eligibility remaining. This is somebody that you can mold into a great player. This is somebody that you can develop. And as transfers, Colorado is a place that is taking freshman transfers. They're taking kids that, you know, are a little bit of projects, meaning that they haven't played a ton of football at their previous stops, but they were highly touted high school recruits. And it's almost like taking high school recruits with not a lot of college experience, except they've been in college for a year. They've been in the weight room program for a year. So they're even going to be more ready than a lot of high school seniors. But Quincy Wiggins is somebody that you don't have proof of college production, but somebody in high school that if you, you know, looked at some high school tape and looked at, you know, the highlights or looked at the the camp, you know, one-on-ones, this is somebody that I really fought high of and I'm still holding out hope for. And now he can get some playing time at Boulder, Colorado. I really like the signing of Wiggins.